I spent all this time distilling my research into a manuscript. Now I just want it to be read and cited. I thought I don't need a publisher for my article. I just would post it online and everybody can read it for free. What are publishers for anyway? But then I realized that a lot of articles I read for my research work were published in internationally renowned journals. That's also how I came across Springer. And with hindsight, I'm convinced I did the right thing publishing in one of their journals. Because they really did lots of things for me. This story begins somewhere in the world. Let's say China, or Russia, or South Africa, Australia, or Canada, somewhere. Everywhere there are authors who want their research to be published. Springer put up the Springer Author Academy. It helped me write from beginning to write a proper manuscript. Before I even started writing my article, I used the, their free tools like the Author Mapper to find other people who may be working in the same field I am active in. Springer helps authors with plenty of tools before, during, and after publication. But let's go back to our author who is holding a manuscript he would like to publish. With Springer, I can publish open access or with a subscription journal. That's excellent because I can choose how to best reach my peers. Springer publishes more than 2,000 subscription-based journals across all subject areas. In addition, we offer 340 fully open access journals, as well as the option to publish open access articles within the majority of our subscription journals. For science to progress, research methods and findings in articles have to be closely examined before publication. Article manuscripts at Springer are always reviewed, regardless of them being published in an open access or subscription journal. Peer review is a critical part of the modern scientific process. Springer organizes the peer review process by providing the technical infrastructure for the online submission of original and revised articles. Every year we are dealing with more than 100,000 reviewers and more than 300,000 authors. Of course, every author and reviewer needs to concentrate on their own articles. Springer ensures that each individual can focus on their article and get through the review process as quickly and as conveniently as possible. Whenever I submit a manuscript that in the end isn't published in the Springer Journal, the process still provides me with a revised version of the manuscript. So going through the process is always useful. Once the authors have worked on their manuscript and it has been accepted for publication, it is sent to the production management and on to a Springer typesetter. At this point, we have received the refined and reviewed manuscript, sometimes even accompanied by multimedia material. The typesetter now takes care of proper formatting and prepares the article for publication. Springer then took care of the whole publication process of both the electronic and printed version of my article. They enhance the article data so that it is easy to find online. They bring it to the libraries in the context of related literature. They provide alert and citation services and so on. All these things would have been hard to organize for my article on my own. Authors don't need to think about metadata tagging, cross-referencing and so on. We ensure the interested readers immediately find the article by implementing these tools. Springer sends article data to library partners, abstracting and indexing services, and bibliographic databases to ensure the author's work is found whenever a researcher looks for information on the topic. Ever heard of Onyx, Mark, or SFX? Don't worry, Springer has. We are supplying libraries, search engines, and repositories with extensive article data. You really need the right data structure, data delivery systems, and partners worldwide to do that. After all, that enables researchers on all continents to quickly find your published research. The final article is sent to Springer Link, the online platform that hosts and interlinks Springer's journals, reference works, and books, and to all hosting partners. And then the marketing starts. 
At this point, I had moved on to doing further research work and writing new articles. I didn't want to be bothered with questions like, how is my article going to be found on Google? How do I get other scientists to notice it? Which platforms can I use to promote my work? We've done so much so far to publish a high quality article. Of course, what the author wants now is for the article to be read and discussed for ultimately to be cited. Our marketing team supports these goals with global activities. I'm happy to work with Springer. They take care of so many things surrounding publication and I can focus fully on my research. All of these efforts combined with the high quality manuscripts we get from our authors result in five downloads of a journal article on Springer Link within one second. And that's at any time, day or night, on any given day of the year. Five article downloads per second. That means that every second of the day, five people take a closer look at an article that a Springer author has published. And I'm proud to say that my article gets that exposure too. So our story ends here, and with it, the journey of an article. As you have seen, Springer organizes the peer review process. We provide the infrastructure and execute production. We maximize the readership and citations of your article. Springer is dedicated to you, the author.